This is Crystal Fenn with MedPage Today in Orlando at the American College of Cardiology meeting, where researchers have reported yet more data from the Horizons AMI trial. A secondary analysis revealed that stent thrombosis was as common with bivalrudin as with unfractionated heparin plus a glycoprotein 2B3A inhibitor given before stenting for acute MI patients. Dr. George Dengis from Columbia University Medical Center presented these findings at a press conference here. Uh, we had a total rate of 3.3% over a year, which is, sounds high, but uh, these are patients with acute ST elevation MI getting a stent. So it, it's, it's not that high after all. It has been reported to be as high in many other studies. This is, of course, the largest one ever performed in primary PCI. Between the stents, any type of drug with stent versus bare metal stent, there was no difference throughout the one year. Uh, when we look into antithrombin, uh, the randomization to bavalirudin versus heparin plus 2B3 inhibitors seem to have higher stent thrombosis within the first five hours of the procedure, actually. Uh, acute stent thrombosis, so to speak, and uh, trend towards less stent thrombosis uh, after the first day. Uh, and looking, digging further into, the, into what happens with the drugs in this acute area, uh, we had two observations. One, that if, if people were given run, uh, heparin, unfractioned heparin outside the protocol, like a pre-randomization dose in the ER or in the ambulance, something like that, they tended to have lower acute stent thrombosis within the bavalirudin arm as well as within the heparin GPI. So an early antithrombin use seemed to attenuate the acute stent thrombosis. Uh, with respect to clopidogrel 600 versus six, uh, 300, that was another uh, stratification of the trial. We found that the higher dose of clopidogrel attenuated primarily subacute thrombosis, uh, but didn't really have an effect in this uh, uh, few hours after the procedure when the acute stent thrombosis effects. And, and when we're moving along towards the uh, late events, then uh, risk factors of the patient, such as ongoing smoking, prior MI, um, uh, you know, and insulin-dependent diabetes becoming progressively important. Although the trial was not designed to answer these clinical questions, it provides important guidance for stent thrombosis prevention, Dr. Dengas said. Uh, probably uh, need to de-emphasize a little bit the type of stent, since, as this doesn't seem to be um, doesn't seem to pan out as a very important factor, at least up to one year. We will see beyond one year. Um, I think what, what uh, the, my message is that the, that the pharmacology over the early hours is very important and, the, uh, and probably hospitals ought to be looking into a very specific uh, acute MI pharmacology protocols if they are to uh, also move patients really fast as opposed to call 20 doctors to make uh, each decision point. So tweaking the pre-stent cocktail of antiplatelet and anticoagulant therapy may help prevent stent thrombosis with bivalrudin in these heart attack patients. In Orlando at the American College of Cardiology meeting, I'm Crystal Fend, MedPage Today.